Welcome to Bitch Talk, booze interviews straight from the heart of San Francisco. I'm Erin. That's Ange. Hi. That's Char. Hello. You can find us at bitchtalkpodcast.com where you can sign up for our monthly e-news. For behind the scenes videos and two minute clips of our interviews, head to our YouTube channel and subscribe. You can find us every other Thursday morning at 9.30 a.m. at bff.fm. And if you like what you hear, rate and subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. For the love of God, do it. It really helps. What is this called? The unreleased, newly founded, undug, the hidden episode. Oh, the hidden episode. Yeah. From a, from a night a long, long time ago. <laughs> And in a galaxy far, 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 far away. away. Yep, it was. Um, I'm not dog. a part of this, so I'm going to have Ange and Shar do a quick little letting you know what's in this episode. Well, well you were there in spirit. I was uh, sleeping. We but just we kept are... talking about you. <laughs> Thanks. Very nicely. Don't worry. Thanks, uh, we we uh, we are starting the Sundance Film Festival right now and our coverage of it. So we wanted to bring you this secret hidden episode that I completely forgot about. <laughs> That was recorded on our last night of Sundance 2020, right before the world went dark. Yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah. And Shar and I just decided to go real hard that night because we had had a rough six days. What was it? How many interviews did we do in six oh, days? 60, 60. something. Yeah. Uh, and we didn't have time to celebrate or go out or enjoy any of the parties like we normally do. The year prior, we definitely did. So <laughs> Shar and I decided to go hard and Aaron... Uh, wanted to go home because she was, <laughs> because she was exhausted, rightfully so. You went home with uh, an, more people in our crew, but Shar and I went hard and came home and wanted to record. <laughs> and this is what came of it. Yeah, um, it's it's funny listening to it because I kind of well, how this came about was we, you know, it's uh, it's Friday and we were trying to figure out if we should you know, do a release of a flashback Friday. And we're like, well, let's do something Sundance related. And the, our go-to is always, if you can recall, uh, 2019, it was uh, a cracked out basic that we had in our, in our uh, second day of Sundance, condo. Sundance day two in our in, condo. In yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, we all, and I, I, I guess we've like released that as a flashback a few times already <laughs> just because it's, it's mm -hmm. one of our, you know, like a charcuterie up the ass came from that one. Yeah. I mean, yeah. and uh, if you're familiar, right. And uh, <laughs> yeah, if you, if you're not familiar with us, you can go back and listen to those cracked out episodes. But we, then I said, Oh, well, we still have that one that we never released. And we were kind of afraid to listen to it. Yes. To how we sounded for my recollection. I was like, I think we sounded okay but i wasn't but like that the last time the first time i listened to it and the last time i listened to it was two years ago and i didn't remember what we talked about <laughs> and i, I never listened to it and i forgot it ever happened all i Great. remember <laughs> all i remember is one of the reasons it got uh, it never got never saw the light of day was we woke up the next morning and we told aaron we're like we recorded a basic that we could put out and you're you're like yeah i know because you tried to wake me up to record it with you and and then uh i go no i think it's really good we were really good at it and and aaron's like i think i'm gonna have to listen to that before it goes out yeah and quality should control and quality should we even control. talk about that how we came home you can imagine okay we're stump shar and i stumble in at whatever i had just time done a snow she angel just done a snow angel she had just done a really beautiful snow angel we'll share the video and i go into the room aaron and i were sharing a room and i was like we're recording come downstairs and you were having nothing to do with it what did you yeah, say and, and, no i don't remember but then you were going off the whole brand thing because you're <laughs> weird about branding but you, you also get it but you're like oh it's not on brand it's not on brand i just remember you like coming in hot and i, I was, was like, trying to punk you into leave I was yeah, trying to leave, leave please right leave. now. <laughs> please leave. Go. <laughs> I'm old. Go away. And wasn't Shoshana in our room too? Poor yes. Shoshana. She had to hear me and you fight. So I was actually mad at Aaron for not joining in. But you can't tell in the recording. I was very empathetic in the recording. So, oh, so I you're mean, welcome. We're, we're, you do I love mean, me. Uh, we were saying this in our, in our group text that um, <laughs> for... As hard as we went that night, you would think we'd, I, I was 
would have thought that we would have sounded a lot worse. I mean, we slur, I get words wrong that don't really, <laughs> words in the English language that don't really exist. <laughs> but yes, there is one gem, if you can find it, uh, that Char, yeah, there's an Easter and I don't there. even correct you because I thought it was right too. So yeah, <laughs> there's one word that Char says that's like amazing. So and, try uh, to find the gem. But I mean, yeah, I mean, we're, we're de- you can tell we're definitely drunk and we've definitely been drinking, but we, we put some nuggets out there. And as Ange puts it, um, we didn't know that a month later the world was going to close. So this right. is us with who know, like we're talking about going back to Sundance next year. Yes, very and- hopeful and excited for next year. Yeah. And it's kind of sad and uh, loving yeah, on what of- we do and all of that stuff. But um, and making connections with people and meeting people, you know, face to face. It's just just remembering our mindset then and where we are now is. is yeah, it's uh, like just who that. knew who knew <laughs> two years later. Here we are doing Sundance virtually for the second Easter in a row. Yeah. So basically this is us uh, back when we were happy. (laughs) Enjoy. Back back when we were little babies and we didn't know what was coming for us. Yeah. Yeah. So enjoy this uh, secret hidden conversation that Char and Ange had the last night of our Sundance in person, in real life in 2020. And Please be sure to be on the lookout for all of our Sundance and Slam Dance coverage in the next few weeks. Oh my gosh, Char, are we re- recording? Are we? I was going to say, are we wrecking? But that's we're wrecking. Appropriate. According to Brian, we're wrecking because he doesn't want to give me the controls. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> He gave me the controls, whatever. Producer Shar is in rare form, which is why I thought we should start recording tonight. Why? Because this is this is the true essence of bitch talk. It is the true it's, essence it's of the bitch ups, talk. It's the ups, it's the downs, it's the sober, it's the not. It's, it's the, the stress, it's the fun. I mean, let's be honest. Well, look here. So the way I look at it is you, me, and Aaron... <laughs> We've all been working our asses off for the last six days. And quite honestly, if you compare, I I hate comparing before, you know, like, oh, what we did last year, what we did last year. But the thing is, is I think you can agree, we didn't really get to, like, really enjoy opening weekend like the way that we did last year. Right, right. Agreed. But then this year... But it was beautiful in a different way. So go on. No, it's totally different. It's totally beautiful in a different way because I think what happened was we worked our asses off for five days, like top to bottom, like like, like legit, like <laughs> legit, like we recorded for six hours, recorded 40 interviews within the first three days and then like went home like we were wa- we wanted to party. You and I wanted to party every night. I can honestly say like. Well, last night I didn't go out, so tonight I'm going out. And and, then, and, and without it never fail. really happened. <laughs> and then we recorded today, which is our fifth day here. We recorded our last show, and then we recorded some. We did. We got to do another press line, which is what our goal was. We wanted to do a couple we more. We love the press lines. And then um, we were done. And then we were like, "What are we gonna do?" And we like, and the thing is, is if you you've never been to Sundance, like, shit dies after Sunday, <laughs> after the first weekend, yeah, right. After yeah. like, um, basically, Sundance starts on a Thursday, and then it goes for about a week and a half until the fall. It like goes two weekends until the following, but most people do everything all premieres all everything all parties all lounges everything happens until sunday maybe monday if you know like they're a big name company or whatever and then after that they're gone and then we're here on a tuesday we haven't done anything (laughs) and finally we're free and we're free and we're like (laughs) what are we gonna do but i have to say i made a goddamn spreadsheet and i was like there are two to three events we can do tonight and one of them was seeing Lisa Loeb, who I've never seen before, but obviously we grew up. Dude, I was like, <laughs> I was living my senior year in high school. But here's the thing. Okay. And, and no hate. I mean, 
I think that all the musicians at this, it was called the Snowball, BMI uh, uh, hosted, and it was called Dude, the Snowball. Dude, you ate crow a couple of times that night, and I wasn't there because I was in the front going, hey. It's fine. It was just, you know, it was very vanilla, I'll say. I For was sure. I was like, come on. Wine We're- only. Wine only, and the music was, it was good music. It was but, like you know, singer-songwriter um, music. A like, singer-songwriter, one guitarist, one singer, a white woman. If you wanted to get down, this wasn't this wasn't the party to get and down to. And if you didn't know who Lisa Loeb was, I heard people like, is that Lisa Loeb? Is that Lisa Loeb? Like, you know, because it was all like one white woman singer with a male guitarist, you know, like whatever. But... I'm not hating on Lisa Loeb. And when she came on and she singed fucking Stay, I'm sorry, but it brought us all back to that day. Were you? Like, I was by myself. I was, I was. I was trying to find you in the crowd. I was so excited that I. I I think I have it on video because I was like so excited. I was like, this is all I want. Like, I know you wanted to leave because it was, yeah, yeah, a little mellow comparatively. And I was like, but I'm not going to leave until I sit, until I hear. My the, the essence of my high school days. Oh, likewise. And uh, oh man, I was like, I was sitting there, and I'm like, D-, and it, I felt so old because nobody else was singing with me. And that's what I was going to tell you was so. Um, Char was in the crowd, and I was in the back room where uh, you know it was a little more mellow. And when the song came on, I was like, okay, well, I at least want to be with some energy where everybody's singing along. And I went into the 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 main stage. And that not everybody was singing along, and I was like, "This is fucking disgusting." No, what are we doing here? I was going crazy because I was, you know, like how when you're at a at a concert, and then you're waiting for like the hook, and everybody's like really into it. Yes, like I was waiting. Like she, there was were going, zombies. Yeah, like she was going into the crescendo of the song, and I'm like, everybody was like, I was like, oh, everybody's getting into it, and like nobody got into it. Yeah. No, so I I went and I was just like, I'll just, just sing meant, with myself, and it was just meant I was older than everybody. <laughs> Yeah, but it's Lisa Loeb and Stay is just like the quintessential. I mean that 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 high school best friend that you have. I mean that's just what so it reminds good. me of. It, we were just we were like trying to sing it on the bus that, back. Well, and that's the thing. Like those friendships, you just don't have as you get older because when you're young and you're free and you don't have you know the nine to five and and kids and whatever to worry about, all you do is just like sit around and gossip and have fun and watch movies and sing Stay. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. That's what you do. So, um, but we I'm, got to see, what we did. We did get to see that, and then I met up with you guys in the back of the room where we were chilling with our drinks, with our well, wine. Not to mention, prior to that, we finally had our High West whiskey tasting. Oh yeah, which was amazing. Love me some High West whiskey. You and I have a High West bonding. Experience. We do. This is our annual Sundance if, High West. If you don't remember, <laughs> go back about a year. Listen to Sundance Day 2, uh, 2019. 2019, <laughs> and we had charcuterie up there. We were a shit show. We're, we're a lot more composed this year, Char. Are we? Yeah. Look at us. My sleeves are a little wet, well, but okay. it's okay. So, uh, you know, we can't talk forever and there's so many things to bring up, but um, on the way home, you know, this is our final night at Sundance and we've been working our fucking tails off and I'm really proud of what we've done. I think we have some We've really, done some great stuff. I think we have some great interviews. And I can't wait to be like a little bit more on track so I can talk to you <laughs> about the stuff that we did. Like right. I want to talk about like Run Sweetheart Run and- right. And like our Tessa Thompson interview, but we got to bring Erin downstairs for that. But she right. she didn't want to join in our debauchery. Right it's now. been exhausting. We, I don't blame her. I think you and we're I are exhausted. I think you and I exhaust her. So. But you know we're Filipino, so I think we're. But a, you know what? Rare yeah. breed. We're we a rare breed going. that we we we. <laughs> you know what? We don't like to say no. If listen to the a thousand cuts interview <laughs> when that comes out. So then you'll understand it better. But it's like, <laughs> we don't like to like give up. We think that it's time to keep going. For better or worse. We just go. Let me say, this let's does not. Let's just go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> to our detriment and to our, <laughs> you know, like, I, I, I'm i sorry. It's, yeah, it's hard to say yes to a good time. And, uh, but I'll, I'll like. It's hard say, to say no to a good time. <laughs> it's hard to say, oh, did, did I say yes? <laughs> Fuck, I meant no, clearly. Look at me. Where are we right now? 
But the thing is, I think we've had an incredible sinus. We have a, we've had some crazy good interviews. And I think that above all, you know, I'm, I'm always proud of the interviews that we do, but I think we made some really strong connections oh, absolutely. with people this year, like stronger than last year. Um, people that have been reaching out to us, you know, a day or well, two after our interviews, people that want bitch talk sweaters and are following up with us. And it, it just feels really good. I mean, I, what I will say right now is that last year we came into this completely blind. We didn't know what to expect. And then, I mean, we had big lofty goals of how we were going to improve ourselves from last year to, you know, year two. And year two, we didn't get exactly where we thought we were going to be, but we did improve. Mm -hmm. And we did make some changes in terms of our branding, in terms of who we brought with us. Mm -hmm. And um, and we approached it differently too. how we connected with the people that we met. Mm -hmm. And I think that we uh, I think we accomplished a lot of stuff that we had meant to do, you know. Right. And and I think like obviously Shar's coming from a producer perspective, but from a host perspective, like we're not movie critics. Uh, we're not, you know, um, ultimately, at, le at least what I think Bitch Talk is, is um, a study in people. We're interested in people, people that in um, inspire us people that intrigue us, people that we want to emulate, people that we want to highlight because maybe they're marginalized. So um, when we approach these interviews at Sundance, you know, most people that are interviewing filmmakers are going to interview it from that film critic standpoint. Um, but we bring it from that that humanity, that, um, that empathy uh, that connects us all. So um, I feel like we're, we're kind of just ev evolving in our in our process with Sundance. And I think that us, you know, with Mr. John Wildman, and I think that like, <laughs> uh, it's just, it's just been great. It's just been great, and um, it, it's cool when you end an interview with somebody that you know has done press tours. I mean, Amy Ryan, we're talking to you know Ron Howard, like these really big names, and and they they end the interview and saying like, wow, those were great questions, and like that was a special interview. So like that's no, just kind of what keeps us going. You know, we're not, um, we're not. This is not our career. We want it to be one day, but you know we do it for the passion and the love. And uh, to get love back is is uh, is really special, and it keeps us oh, going. Oh, for sure, for sure. And I mean, yeah, we have aligned ourselves with a really awesome team. You know, John is one of my favorite people in the world. Even his boy Chris. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. I hope that tomorrow morning we'll be able to get Chris and John on the on the show that we can like kind of be it'll be kind of like our exit um our exit show because we're checking out tomorrow morning but um and we should give a little bit of backstory to the listeners like Shar and I and Brian who's Shar's cousin shout out to Brian who's been shooting video and and basically like helping us along the way but uh we have been out because it's our last night so oh, we're man. like let's parlay let's do what we can but you know we were the last of the Mohicans and uh, we, we came tried home. to get Erin to join us in for this, and she's just like, "I don't want to have anything. And I, and to, I, don't I don't want anything to been, do with your stupid it's been asses exhausting right now." And I, and I don't blame her, but like, we've been out, and we came home, and we're like, "Let's just record what we're feeling right now," because we just went through a week of just like fucking insanity. But um, let's just remember how we feel right now at this moment because tomorrow when I wake up it's not going to be the same oh for sure so that's why we're recording thank you for listening to our bumbling yeah <laughs> no, I mean but it, but it's been a great night and it's been an incredible I mean week. yeah we might sound cracked out and we've been you know drinking for a few hours but I mean it this is co totally coming from a place of gratitude mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. I mean who I mean I know I, I we're so fortunate to be able to do what we do Mm -hmm. You know that we can come here and we can, you know, go to these parties and talk to these people and meet these people and hang out with, and actually hang out with people that you respect and that you love. You know, it's just like sometimes you go to places or you, sometimes you have to go to work and you go to work for a week and you're just like, oh, I'm on location for work and I fucking hate it. And I mean, the people in this house right here right now, it's like, dude, I respect and all of these people are like I would do this a million times over with the people mm -hmm. in this house right now and and I feel like we're fully aware of like any issues that we have along the way 
our first world issues. Oh, and for we're sure. Lucky either way. Oh, we're completely <laughs> stupid. I mean, like, what are we doing here? I mean, like, why are we allowed to do these things? Like, I think about that. I've been thinking about that for the last 18 years. I've been doing radio and I'm like, dude, I play in a sandbox. I'm like, how am I so lucky to yeah. just like do the things that I do and right. do it for a living? And I'm you know, like, and I've met so many great people. And I, and I mean, like, I get to, you know, you get to choose. I mean, like, I don't always get to choose, but I mean, like, I get to work with the people that I want to work with. And mm-hmm. I've been so fortunate, mm-hmm. you know. And then I sit there and, you know, I'm just, I'm just having a blast. Mm-hmm. And I'm so appreciative. I even like, sometimes I'm like, you know, like, grouchy make grouchers and then like, oh, I got to work. But, you know, like, I love it. I have so much fun. And then I do, you know, snow angels. In the cold, sure killed it tonight. We'll, we'll send you the video, but uh, <laughs> well, yeah, we got we, we we can't. Well, this is a little bit of a teaser because we can't talk about this stuff without Aaron here. So yeah, so this is just just a glimpse of uh, Sundance six days in to Sundance, oh, <laughs> or uh, sixty day six days and sixty interviews. And tomorrow we get on a freaking van and we drive to reno yeah so uh we just we just went through a whirlwind and we just wanted to share with you just what we're thinking right now because i know tomorrow morning it's gonna be different uh and oh yeah tomorrow we're gonna go what yeah happened? i'm gonna be like good morning. why are my clothes wet it was <laughs> fine yeah no it is just we're just really grateful and excited and happy and it was still processing everything, but I'm just running through the list of the people that I got to speak with, uh, whether it be in interviews or at events and, um, just feeling super lucky and super grateful. And, uh, yeah, uh, year two, every year, you know, we're going to figure it out even more and, um, and find our place and find our voice. But I, I think it's been a great year. Yeah. I spent, I spent the last, uh, three hours, uh, convincing our new team members that it's a good idea to come back with us <laughs> mm-hmm. i was like it's a passion project y'all i was like we didn't we, we didn't uh you know like mess up your your thoughts on coming back to sundance <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh and hopefully we'll hear from them at some point yeah uh, so we're we're gonna come back uh with Aaron and and John Wildman, but Shar and I just uh, we're kind of hyphy right now, and we just wanted to to make sure that we, we had a great night. Like I almost thought we were gonna leave Park City, not being able to like do what we did last year and have a good night. We had a good night. Yeah, I think mission accomplished. When Shar dances and and has her fist pumps in the air. Like I just feed I that. I don't know what you're talking about. I just but, okay. I just feed that. That's that's rare. That's a rarity. And I'm like, we got to feed that because you work so much, and you rarely let loose. So we we got to feed the beast <laughs> when she's. <laughs> Is that how you look at it? Her okay. annual. Her annual. My annual <laughs> feed the beast. All right. Okay, I'll remember that. Anyway, thank you for listening. Uh, we're here in Park City, but we're going to come back to you with Aaron and, and John Wildman and give you a little more insight. But thank you for listening. We love you guys. If you like what you hear, rate and subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. For more information about us, you can head to bitchtalkpodcast.com. This podcast is created, hosted, and executive produced by Aaron Lim. My co-host is Angela Tabora, a.k.a. Captain Party. The show's edited by producer Shar. We're powered by GoTo Productions.